Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to be taking you along the watercolor process of a project that I'm actually working on for class and I'm working in my moleskin sketchbook. If you're wondering where these stickers are from, they're from a fantastic artist that's actually another PA artist from Pennsylvania that I absolutely adore. Um, definitely go follow her. I'll put her Instagram handle here, Arla Bean, and um, her YouTube as well. So the study that I'm working on today is actually a botanical study, and I've already done the line work as we did in class, but I wanted to take you along the inking process for this piece. So if you follow me on my Instagram, which I'll put right here on the screen, <laughs> then you would have already seen one of these, and I'm gonna be posting more of these as I go through them. So um, these particular sketches were done in pencil and then inked over with my favorite little ink pens. These are the Sigma Microns. And you'll see these everywhere, they're fantastic. But I used a 05, a 03, and a 01 for this, in case you're wondering, all black. I also used my all-time favorite mechanical pencil, which is the Unicuro Toga 05. Um, absolutely love this. And I'm going to be doing other videos with this, so you'll see this pencil a lot. And then my trusty old eraser, which is the General's Tri-Tip. So that was what happened for this process. I don't have footage of that as it was in class, but I want to take you along the rest of it because what we're going to do is actually paint over this in watercolor. The watercolors that I'm going to be using today, and I'm going to be doing another video on this, but I want to show you real quick so you kind of know where I'm at. Um, these are some M. Graham watercolors. Absolutely luscious. I've talked about them a little bit on my Instagram and probably here on YouTube as well. But um, I have a pretty limited, I mean, I say limited, but there's like 10 colors or so here. But a pretty limited palette, definitely different colors than what I usually use. Um, so I don't have a palette tour yet of this, but I will in the future, so stay tuned for that if you want to know the exact colors and stuff that I have there. I'm not going to go into that in this video, but if you're interested in that, you can uh, find out later on. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So the first thing that I actually want to do is go ahead and clip my sketchbook down and work on some color tests, just picking out the color palette mixing some colors, testing, you know, how things are going to go. Because it's always good to test out the colors that you're using beforehand, do some mixes beforehand. Um, since this is not really watercolor paper, this uh, moleskin sketchbook has decently thick paper, but it's really not designed for water media. So I'm kind of taking a little bit of a risk here. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I test my colors, how I'm going to be blending, um, how the pigments look on the paper because it is sized very differently than regular watercolor paper and just overall test some colors and have that be part of my research for this project. So I'm going to be using my favorite brush right now which is the Simply Simmons size 6 round. They're actually for acrylics I believe but I use them for watercolor because they're just a nice good synthetic. So I have my reference photo. Um, I don't own this photo, so I'm not going to show it, but um, I'm just using it for the sake of the study. <laughs> and there's a lovely purple orchid, but I'm going to be focusing on the greens first, the green mixes. And I'm going to try to get some, some more of the palette in the shot here.
All right, so that is all three pages. I'm pretty happy with how these turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process of these. If you liked this video and want to see more of my work, my academic work, um, the supplies that I like, etc., leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment down below your favorite sketchbook for watercolor if you happen to have one, or sketchbook in general. I'm, I really love supplies and sketchbooks in particular, and I'm really curious what you guys like to use. So go ahead and leave a comment down below with your favorites. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.